dwelling place, O oh Lord, my soul it yearns, even faints for the courts of God, my heart and flesh. They cry out to the living God, my heart and flesh, cry out to him. Even the sparrow may find a home in you, Lord. The swallow may have her young near your altar. Oh, God, my King, blessed are those who dwell with you within your house. They give you praise. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, who are pilgrims with hearts on a journey to you. As they pass through the desolate valley of weeping, they will make it all a place of spring. The autumn rains will also cover it. Oh Lord my God, Almighty God, of Jacob, listen to me, and hear my prayer, O Lord, and look into our shield, and look with favor upon your anointed one, listen to me. Blessed are those who strengthen in you, who are pilgrims with hearts on a journey to you. They go from strength to strength to appearing before the Lord in Zion at the end. Better is one And dwell in tents of evil men. For the Lord is a sun and a shield around me, and in showers his favor is on or upon me from the blood. And blessed are the ones who trust in him.
Welcome to the Mass for the 18th week of Ordinary Time. The entrance hymn is found in the Blue Gather, number 686, Blessed Be the Lord. We will sing verse 3. Please stand. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Although a thousand strong have fallen at my side, I'll not be shaken with the Lord at hand. His faithful love is all the armor that I need to wage my battle with the foe. Blessed be the Lord, blessed be the Lord, the God of mercy, the God who saves. I shall not fear the dark of night nor the arrow that flies by day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Good afternoon. My brothers and sisters, as we gather together to celebrate God's love manifested to us through this Eucharist, through this Mass, let us be mindful of how much God loves us and also let us recognize our failures before God, knowing that we are sinful and in need of God's grace. Let us ask Him forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. A reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See upon the mountains there adv there's advances the bearers of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your feast, O Judah, fulfill your vows, for nevermore shall you be invaded by the scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel. Though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined the tendrils. Woe to the bloody city, all lies full of plunder whose looting never stops, the crack of the whip, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horses a gallop, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear, the many slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineveh is destroyed. Who can pity her? Where can one find any to console her? The word of the Lord. Response. 
It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord shall do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Learn then that I, I alone am God, and there is no God beside me. It is I who bring both death and life, I who inflict wounds and heal them. It is I who deal death and give life. I will sharpen my flashing sword, my hand shall lay hold of my quiver, with vengeance I will repay my foes and requite those who hate me. It is I who deal death and give life. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death, until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. To be a disciple of the Lord uh, requires many things. Uh, first and foremost, uh, when we learn as children that we, uh, you know, we practice our faith, we go to catechism, we get religious education classes, we, we learn about God and about our faith, the truths of our faith. And it's, it's, it's a, it's a, a way of beginning our discipleship, of getting to know who Jesus is. Father Felix de Jesus Rouget, our founder of the Missionaries of the Holy Spirit, said that for us to really get to know who Jesus is, is to perhaps uh, first read the Gospels and see his, um, understand the humanity of Jesus. You know, what did Jesus do? What did he say? Um, how did he react to different things in his, in, in his own way of, of where he lived? To know Jesus well is the next, I believe, the next step to discipleship. And Jesus today points out this, this I, would, I would say, this third step of discipleship. 
uh, which is denying ourselves in order, take, taking up our cross and following him. I think many of us here can relate to a specific cross that we have carried or are carrying at the moment, uh, whether it's small or it's big. Um, we know that carrying the cross sometimes is not something that we aspire to all the time. Uh, there are moments when just something hits us, either an illness or something very challenging, um, maybe a broken uh, relationship, maybe a death in the family, a loss that we've lost, someone or something that has really shaken us up. And we say, well, I'm carrying this cross. I'm having to bear something that what I did not plan, but that just happened, right? Um, we, in our lives, can relate to these situations, and it requires a lot of trust in the Lord to be able to carry the cross that we ourselves may have or that are living. To be the disciple of the Lord, Jesus doesn't tell us that it's going to be easy. <laughs> he clearly states out that Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I remember when I was just, you know, right after high school, when I joined the Missionaries of the Holy Spirit, I was the first one to leave home, and it was a very new experience for me. Uh, I had never, you know, left home, and when I entered the novitiate, the formation phase of the missionaries of the Holy Spirit, uh, you know, the first couple of months, I felt nostalgic. I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to go back home and go back to my familiar uh, territory, my familiar places. But now that I think back, when I made this decision to follow Jesus in my religious life and priesthood, I think that... I made a wise decision because if not, I would not have been able to really understand the depths of priesthood and my vocation uh, as I do now. Following Christ may seem um, at hard at first, especially what Jesus says today, but it's very rewarding. Um, those of you who are parents, when you've had to um, suffer uh, different or have gone through many challenges in order to help your children uh, grow and develop. I'm sure you must have gone through a lot of um, growing pains with your children. Uh, it's part of life, you know. We should never be scared of any challenges that the Lord places before us. When he does, he knows that we can carry the cross. When Jesus asks us, to, to follow him. He will provide all the means necessary for us to be able to respond to our calling as disciples of the Lord. You know, just a couple of Sundays ago, you might remember, we celebrated, um, or the feast day, uh, July 22nd, I believe it was, uh, the feast of Mary Magdalene. And she was a woman who had whom Jesus had expelled seven demons, right? You might remember. She was also the one who wiped the feet of Jesus. And she used an alabaster jar full of perfume. Um, she was at the foot of the cross when Jesus died with Mary, the mother of Jesus. And she was also the first one to witness the resurrection of our Lord. In fact, Thomas Aquinas gave her the title Apostle of the Apostles. And her life can be something very, you know, interesting for, for all of us and can be an example. You know, we ourselves know we love God, we want to follow him, and but there's, there's this other step of being a follower to being a proclaimer of Christ, as Mary Magdalene was. She she witnessed the risen Lord, and she went back after Jesus had told her, go back and tell my brothers that I have, you know, 
that I am going to the Father. And so this is important for us. We ourselves have to be followers of Christ and proclaimers of Christ. If he tells us that if we want to follow him, we've got, got of course, got to put away the things that, don't, that keep us from following Jesus. We've got to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. Jesus today, may, he, may we renew our commitment to following Christ, and may we always heed the words of our Lord, knowing that he walks with us, he journeys with us, and enables us to appreciate the calling that he has given each one of us. Amen. Called to be faithful disciples, let us bring our needs before the Lord. For the Pope and all clergy, may the Holy Spirit bless and perfect them in their faithful proclamation of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For government leaders, may God give them strength in working tirelessly to uphold the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lonely and homebound, and for those who minister to them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of worship, may the Lord help us carry the crosses we must bear in this life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they be welcomed into Jesus' loving arms in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That the Holy Spirit will enable world leaders to develop and implement policies that will guard against the violence of war, mass shootings, human trafficking, and will lead to effective immigration we pray to the Lord. For the special intentions that you hold in your heart, let us pray to the Lord. For the mass intentions for today are for Ralph and Mercedes Rosales. May they rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. And now we will recite the prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. O most holy Holy heart of Jesus, Jesus, fountain fountain of every every blessing, blessing, I adore adore you, I love you, and with a lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make make me humble, humble, patient, patient, pure, and and wholly obedient to your will. will. Grant, Grant good Jesus, Jesus, that I may may live in you and and for you Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessing on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray that you answer these prayers and petitions according to your holy will in the name of your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. In the Blue Gather Book, number 918, in the Breaking of the Bread. In the Breaking of the Bread. been fed. 
Jesus the stranger, Jesus the Lord, be our companion, be our hope, bread for the journey. struggle and tears, cup of salvation, fruit of the land, bless and receive now the work of Pray, brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, Lord of heaven and earth, through Christ our Lord, for by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as mediator, and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your Son you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross and signed with the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now, and for ages unending, with all the angels, we proclaim your glory as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your Spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, Michael, and Gary, our bishops, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place to live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, Saint Luke, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. pray this act of spiritual communion for our brothers and sisters who are not able to join us. And we pray, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Blessed are they, full of sorrow, they shall be consoled. Rejoice and be Blessed are you, holy are you, rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are they, the lowly ones, they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst, they shall have their fill. Rejoice and be glad, blessed are you. shall see God rejoice and be glad blessed are you holy are you rejoice and be glad yours is the kingdom of God blessed are seek peace they are the children of God blessed are they who suffer in faith the glory of God is theirs rejoice and be glad blessed are you Suffer hate 
love me. Rejoice and be glad. Yours is the kingdom. Shine for all to see. Rejoice and be glad. Blessed. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just an announcement this weekend. Uh, the missionaries of the Holy Spirit, we're going to be having a vocation retreat for, for men who are interested in discerning their vocation for priesthood or religious life. And um, I ask that you pray for this retreat. Uh, pray for us as we will uh, be helping facilitating uh, this retreat. And uh, please pray for vocations so that the Lord may continue to call uh, young men and women to the service of the church. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, source of all purity and love, communicate the same purity to you through the cross. May he keep your body, your soul, your whole being always pure in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Have a good afternoon. Our final hymn is in the Blue Gather book, number 835, They'll Know We Are Christians. We are, I'm sorry. Christians by our love.